Greetings, and it's our joy to be able to come to you once again today. This week, our daily devotionals have been focusing on the subject of marriage, and we're just reminding ourselves of what the Word of God has to say on this subject, especially from the perspective of somebody who might be preparing for marriage. And for those of us who are already married, may this come as a gentle reminder of the good thing that God has helped us enter into. Part of preparing for marriage is our readiness to love somebody else. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, the Bible says, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. Now this is a very strong instruction to the husband. And if you're somebody who is considering becoming a husband, getting married and becoming a husband, this is a powerful instruction. It says, husband, love your wife. And it tells us in what measure and to what extent. It says, even as Christ loved the church. So the standard the Bible is presenting to the husband is, got to love the way Christ loved, to the extent that Christ loved, and in the same manner that he, he loved. And that's a, that's a very tall order. Because if you really take time to think about it, you know, very quickly we'll mention a few things, but we recognize that Jesus loved those who didn't love back. Jesus loved us when we were still sinners, when we were wavered, when we were unlovable. When we were enemies, he still loved. Jesus loved to the point he sacrificed everything. Jesus loved to the point he humbled himself and became a servant. Jesus loved to the point where he forgave us of everything. These are a few things that we could look at when we say, when the scripture says, even as Christ loved. So choosing to become a husband is choosing to enter into this place where you're saying, I'm ready to love as Christ loved. And if you're not ready to do that, then you're not ready to be a husband because that's what the Bible is telling us the husband's role is. This is not to scare us or frighten us, but this is to tell us that we are being given a privilege to imitate Christ as a husband in our marriage. Now that doesn't mean the wife shouldn't love her husband back. Obviously, uh, the wife also reciprocates that love. So while the subject of verse Ephesians 5.25 is the husband, the wife also imitates Christ and learns to reciprocate that same kind of love so that marriage then can be established on Christ-centered and Christ-like love between the husband and the wife, the man and the woman who have entered into this holy state of being married. So a very important preparation is ready to love as Christ loved. And if you're married, that's the gold standard. That's what we are called to do toward our spouse, to love as Christ loved. And if God has given us this commandment, then God will give us the grace and the power to fulfill it. So we look to God and say, Lord, help me do that. Because you commanded me, you will empower me. Let's pray. So, Lord, we ask that you will empower us to love as Christ loved in the marriage you placed us. For those preparing, help us to be ready to love even as Christ loved. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.